So I actually discovered something new about the uh, understanding of the NFC files using the Flipper Zero and um, I managed to actually decode and to also alter the files and understanding them without having to actually code anything um, other than editing a text file uh, and also a quite nice idea of how I can use my Flipper as a digital business card so that people can scan my flipper and then can get my contact details instead of handing over a paper-based card or doing something else. Here my phone shows a couple of uh, apps uh, which are great tools for working with RFID or NFC cards and tags. Uh, two of them that we will use today is the tag info from NXP and also a tool called NFC tools uh, that is an app made by someone called WAK dev the tool seems um, pretty good uh, I think they are for both Android and iOS uh, at least this is an um, Android phone so uh, I'll use the Android version um, otherwise there are of course other tools available for iOS as well so what we have here is a used, um, a used card from uh, Starbucks that I don't use anymore. Let's try to use the flipper just to see what kind of card this is. If I'm reading that card, it says it's a MyFair Ultralight. It gives the unique identifier, the UID. Uh, and um, not very much more actually. We have uh, some data, but it also said that um, it's a password and it has read 41 pages and so on. So let's try to read the same card using this NFC tool on my phone. It gives actually a bit more information about the card. So what we can do is to go into uh, the menu and we can actually format the memory. So let's do that. Now it should be quite clean. We can also just be sure erase all the information on this card. And here we are. Now I have a very empty and clean uh, card that I can mess around with. So the first thing we can do is to write something to this card. And this tool is quite uh, neat because it's got a lot of options for what information to write to the card. So in this example, I'll just experiment a bit more like I did on my previous video about the NFC files um, by adding a URL to this card. So instead of going to this page, let's just go into my favorite one, the NASA, the NASA.gov. So what we will do now is to write, enter my card behind my phone and it says write complete and what this actually does is if i'm going back to my phone i can just now without opening any apps on my phone just read the card and that will go directly into the nasa web page so the interesting part now is that i would like to do the same using my flipper so i can download the file and try to decode what's on this card now so let's go into my flipper and we can select read and just read the card so it says the same uid because that has not changed that's that's a permanent data that is on on the card i can now store my card and let's just give it the name nasa and save it And what we can do now is to actually open this file that I now have on my flipper. So I will go back to my QFlipper tool and we can go into the file menu, into the SD card and into the NFC folder. And here I have a couple of files and the one that I just added was the NASA file. I will now right click and download that file to my computer 
And here I have opened this uh, nasa.nfc file in my Visual Studio. So here we can see uh, some data that it says. It's a Flipper NFC device and so on. And here I'm kind of uh, stuck with the same problem I had in my previous uh, video as well, that I'm not really capable of understanding all this data. But I have gained some more information and knowledge, so I know that, okay, uh, these uh, sectors and pages are actually, of course, as I can see in hex, but I didn't know exactly the syntax. So the smart thing that I did was going back to my phone. And now I will open the tag info from NXP. And here I can read my card and go into the details. And guess what? Here we have, of course, the data. It says uh, www.nasa.gov. And also, as we can see here, and here are the data nasa.gov in hexadecimals. So I will now try to find these exact data in my NFC file in the Visual Studio. It should start with 026E. And we see here we have the 02 and the 6E. And 6E in hex is an N. We have the A character, which is 61. We have the S character, which is 73. And we have another N, which is 61. So that is NASA, we have the dot which is 2E, and we have the G O V. So this is the NASA.gov. Let's try to just alter the data a small and tiny bit, and since I am a bit lazy, I will try to alter as few characters as possible. So this means that I will need to start with the 6e which is the n and the 61 is the a 73 is s and 61 is a again this is nasa so instead of having 6e as the start i want my string to start with 64 which is the d 61 is the n so that's correct Instead of 73, I would like it to be a T, and that is 74. And the A is 61 again, and now it should be cool. It should say, say it should say data or data.gov instead of NASA. So let us just try to save this file, and I will store the file as data.gov we can store this and now let's try to put this back into my flipper and that is very easy it's just a drag and drop from my file explorer back to my qflipper um, application so here i'm dragging it putting it into my flipper and here we see data.gov so opening the NFC folder and the saved folder on my flipper, here I have the new file called data.gov. I will emulate that file. Now let's just flip it around so I can tap my phone on the back side of my flipper. And guess what? It was a successful read. Here I managed to open the data.gov and the only thing we did was to alter the file in my Visual Studio just understanding where to enter the data and um, just understanding what bits and bytes to adjust. Now, this means that we can understand a bit more about the NFC files, but what would be really cool is actually to use my flipper because now I know that I can actually open web pages from this um, just to open my LinkedIn profile. So uh, let's use maybe not mine, but maybe another person's profile. And the most easy way to do this is, of course, not to enter the bits and bytes in Visual Studio and upload it to the Flipper, but just and use the tool that I just showed. So let's go back to the NFC tools and we can again write some information, but we will change this to a LinkedIn profile. 
William H. Gates. Okay, let's write that information to my card. Okay, of course, what I would like to do is to write that information directly from my phone to my Flipper. But because my phone has installed both Google Pay and Samsung Pay and lots of others, they will always override when I'm trying to write from my phone to my Flipper. The Google Pay or Samsung Pay will just pick up my Flipper and think that it's a card terminal and open the Google Pay or Samsung Pay instead. So that's why I have to go through this card. So now I have stored the LinkedIn profile of Mr. Gates into this card. And let's just go into NFC again, read that card and let's just save it right away. And let's just call it LinkedIn. Of course, this should be your profile or my profile. But for the experiment, let's just use another one. So here again, I have my phone. So this is what you can do using your flipper as a business card. Just emulate this card and scan it. And here we are into a profile. So this might be a good idea to use your flipper as a NFC business card linking it to your LinkedIn profile or maybe your company's webpage or whatever. Um, however, you might meet some uh, skeptical people out there that they will not accept using their phone to read a Flipper Zero because, yeah, people don't know what this is or maybe think this is a dangerous hacking tool or whatever. But uh, anyway, so this was only an experiment on how to use the flipper to actually something useful but the most important thing here is of course to learn about nfc files and how to store them enter them upload them and also what you can do with rfid or nfc cards um stay tuned i think i'll experiment a bit more about this starbucks card a bit later